Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan and today we're going to be discussing a really important neurological condition that takes place every day all over the world and that is a stroke. In this video I'm going to be highlighting to you what a stroke is, some of the key types of stroke and also the most important signs that you can recognize to see if your patient has had a stroke so you can help them as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's jump in. So first of all, what is a stroke? It is an interruption in the blood supply to the brain, which when it takes place can have devastating consequences. And there are three different types of stroke. The first of which being an ischemic or an infarct stroke, which makes up about 85% of the strokes that we see around the world. An ischemic stroke is when we have a blockage in the blood vessels supplying blood and therefore supplying oxygen to the brain. When the brain doesn't get the oxygen that it needs, it unfortunately causes tissue damage that leads to the stroke. Different causes of that blockage could be atherosclerosis, which is where we have a buildup of fatty plaque within the blood vessels, or when we have a clot or a thrombus that blocks the blood vessel directly. The second type is a hemorrhagic stroke. Here we have a bleed within one of the blood vessels inside the brain. When that bleed occurs, it can create swelling and thus pressure, and that pressure buildup on brain tissue causes tissue damage. This is why blood pressure is so important that we check for all of our patients at risk of a stroke, because when blood pressure is too high, that is what can disrupt the blood vessels and cause that bleed. So the other type of stroke that can occur is a TIA, a transient ischemic attack. This is where we have a temporary interruption in the blood supply to the brain, and therefore you may find that it only causes temporary symptoms, said to be up to 24 hours in length. So with those different types of stroke in mind, it's important to mention that your patient may present with any form of symptoms of a stroke depending on where in the brain the stroke has occurred. So for example, if your patient has had a stroke in the frontal lobe, you may find that they have symptoms such as upper limb or lower limb weakness, poor judgment, or Broca's dysphasia, or expressive dysphasia, which is where your patient may have difficulty in forming speech. If they have had a stroke in the parietal lobe, you may find that they have difficulty with two-point discrimination, astereognosis, or Wernicke's dysphasia, which is where they may have difficulty in grasping or understanding words. Here, the patient may be able to physically talk, but the words coming out of their mouth may have little sense or context. If your patient has had a stroke in the temporal lobe, you may find that they suffer with issues such as hearing difficulty or deafness. If they've had a stroke in the occipital lobe, they may suffer with visual disturbance. And if they've had a stroke in the cerebellum, you may find that they have difficulty with balance, gait steadiness, or ataxia. So a quick and simple tip to help you recognize the potential signs of a stroke is the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T. F stands for face. Here you may look for signs such as facial drooping, where your patient's eye or mouth seems to have drooped on one side, or facial weakness, where your patient is unable to use their facial muscles to create a smile. A stands for arms. Here you may look out for sudden signs of pain, weakness, or numbness in the arms. S stands for speech. As we mentioned earlier, if your patient has had a stroke, they may have slurred speech, may not be able to produce speech at all, or they might be able to create speech, but it is nonsensical and has no context. And T stands for time, because if your patient presents with any of the above signs, it's time to call an ambulance so that you can get them the help they need as quickly as possible. So guys, that completes our video. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you wanna find more from Clinical Physio, subscribe to our channel or find us at www.clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khaled Maidan. Thank you so much for watching our video and we'll see you very soon right here on Clinical Physio.